ओम ज्ञान तिमृंध से ज्ञानाजन शलाकया चक्षुर्मलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरोन्वैष्णवश्रीप सागर जात सह गणरघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साध्वत सबूत पर्जन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधापादान सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंध दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौरत्षे नम पंच तत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्तावतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंदीयदराधर शिवास गौरभक्तवृंदा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्माद्य से तोन्वयादित चार्थ सुभिजस्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय आदि कवये मुयंतूरय तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यृसर्गो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तकुहक सत्यम परम धीमह नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्ति अस्त विश्व खल प्रसीदता ध्यात भूता शिव मिथोधिया मनस्भद्रम भजता दधोक्षज आवेशता नो मतिरप्य हेतुकी गीता के इस चौथे सत्र में आप सभी का स्वागत है पिछले सत्र में वी वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन ऑन भगवत गीता इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी स्टडीड फाइव प्राइमरी टॉपिक्स ऑफ भगवत गीता ईश्वर जीव काल कर्म एंड प्रकृति नाउ वी एंटर इनटू द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता प्रथम अध्याय विषाद योग कहलाता है द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता इज नोन एज विषाद योग श्लोक पर चर्चा सो बिफोर दैट आई वांट टू डिस्कस ऑन द वर्ड्स व्हिच इज विजिबल इन दिस स्लाइड because it is related to vishad nam na suhan na bandhu kama puranam na bhayam na lajja 
चिंतातुरा न सुखम न निद्राक्षुधातुरा न बल न तेज so we know that uh, that in the indian culture there are uh, four topics which are discussed dharma artha kama and moksha so our life is a journey many times we discussed how is the journey of life going on so journey means to move from one point to another point journey is of two types one is in the place and one is in the time and both are happening they cannot be stopped like now we are on the earth and the earth is uh, rotate uh, is moving so that is also a journey of place like if you sit in an airplane when you are sitting in the airplane you are still moving although uh, when a person is sitting beside us we may think that actually both of us are not moving but since the entire airplane is moving we are also moving so the earth can be considered like a plane and we are on it and although we are sitting beside each other we may feel that we are not moving but because the earth is moving at very fast speed we are also on the journey similarly time is also moving on so the one journey is in the space or akash and another is on the time dimension so we are moving in both the dimensions place and time so for this journey our sages have said that we need four wheels like a car moves on four wheels so those four wheels are of dharma artha kama and moksha but if one tire if is uh, the tire of one wheel is deflated then we cannot move so now the problem in our life is that we have only two wheels left artha and kama the two wheels of dharma and moksha they are out of the vehicle and there are many cultures in which dharma and moksha are not even discussed to nowadays mostly people are of uh, nastic nature so there is no talk of dharma and moksha and uh, if some people have also if they believe in this then they even though they have the wheel but the tire doesn't have any air in it so, uh, human being is mostly working hard for artha and kama from childhood we have studied this our parents have taught this only that study otherwise you will die out of hunger how will you get get money so this verse is telling that when we simply keep worrying about these earth and kama then what happens bhagavad gita ka aram bhagavad gita its beginning is the based on earth and kama only so this verse says it says artha turana na sohrit na bandhu that one who is atur for earth or one who is troubled or he is always in anxiety for earth or money or wealth he is only anxious for getting wealth i had discussed in the previous class that that uh, in sanskrit nidhan is called death so we Uh, think that if we have uh, dhan or if we have wealth then we are living and if we are uh, if we lose the wealth then we are dead so that's why in sanskrit uh, it is said nidhan death is called nidhan so we see we say that uh, dhan is life but what happens is that when we are attached to it that uh, we are very much anxious for wealth and our mind is totally immersed in thoughts of wealth then neither we think about the suhrit nor the bandhu bhagavad gita ya we don't think about friends or relatives or well wishers and this is discussed in mahabharat the war between uh, kaurav and uh, pandavas there are warriors on two sides one side there is duryodhan other side there is yudhishthir if you think about both the names in the uh, both the names are connected with war yudhishthir means one who is fixed up or sthir in yudh yudh yudhishthir that is yudhishthir 
and in Duryodhan also there is uh, uh, Yodha from Yuddha too. Uh, both are of fighting nature. But what is the purpose of fighting? One is fighting for Artha and Kama and the other is fighting for Dharma and Moksha. This is the difference in both. In the beginning of Mahabharat, there are 18 Parvas in Mahabharat. There are one lakh verses. The first chapter of Mahabharat, in that it is clarified. So that we understand. I had discussed this earlier also. That uh, the pedagogy of uh, the Vedic system of teaching, it is very deep. For teaching, they have a very... Uh, advanced system and that is through stories because every person likes to hear stories our life is also a story every work is like a story it's like a katha in sanskrit it is said katham so if you ask some want to ask somebody how is he we say katham how are you katham so life is a katha every person's life is a katha but what has to be checked is whether that Katha is it rotating around Artha and Kama or it's, it is rotating around Dharma and Moksha. So regarding Duryodhan, it is uh, explained in the beginning of Mahabharat only that Duryodhan and uh, Yudhishthir, they are compared with a big tree. It is said that Duryodhan is a very big tree. Duryodhan is, was not an ordinary person. But what kind of a tree is he? It is Manyumaya. Manyu means anger, envy. And where is envy and anger? It originates from Kama. So, from Kama, we get Krodha, Envy, and then there are various branches of the tree of Duryodhan. There is Dushasan, who is the fruit of that tree. So, and like this, an analogy is prepared. Yudhishthir is also called as Mahadrum. Yudhishthir is the Mahadruma of Dharma. Dharma means Vriksha or tree. Yudhishthir also is a tree, but is the tree of Dharma, unlike Duryodhan tree, which is the tree of envy and anger. So it is the fight between both. And in our life, this fight is always going on. Because in this society, we are not alone. We are living with others. So that's why you need a system in society, whether people believe in Bhagawan or no. But the system has to be accepted. So that's why there are laws. Every country will have a constitution and it has its laws. There is a system of administration. There is a system of justice. So that is the dharma. So dharma has to be accepted. If we do not accept dharma, the system of governance, then there will be complete chaos. But uh, human being's nature is that he always wants to find a loophole so that he, uh, I don't have to work and I should get the result. The human nature is such that he wants the result, but he doesn't want to work to get that result. And in Gita, what does Bhagavan say? Bhagavan says exactly the opposite. In Gita, that you perform your karma and don't be attached to the result. And what does human being want? That I should get the result and I should not have to work. So this is called corruption. This is the difference between corruption and civilization. So corruption means I should not have to work and I should get the result. So this is a very deep-rooted mentality in us. Even if you, we go to a sadhu, we say that give us some blessing. Actual blessing is that uh, our mind should be turned towards Bhagavan. That is real blessing. But mostly what type of blessing people want? 
that i should become rich my work should become successful so this is the corruption that i should not have to work you just bless me so that i get the result of the work without actually working so it means that i i have not done anything for that you do that work for me by giving me blessing and most of the sadhus who all are famous who who did this to this who did that to that person these type of sadhus are mostly famous so this is called corruption in reality and why is it called corruption uh, our mind our mentality is such that we when we go to sadhu we go with the mentality of corruption only actually sadhu has nothing to do with all this blessing so the, whichever grihastha is performing his work he is performing his karma and according to karma he will get his result and the virakta the sadhu is one who has given his life to spirituality now we go to the sadhu and ask for material blessings so this is corruption you should go to sadhu to the spiritual person to get spiritual knowledge now bhagwan could also have kept his hand on arjun and blessed him that don't worry don't worry you don't have to fight everything will be done arjun had gone to dwarka to meet bhagwan so bhagwan could have told arjun that don't worry you will win this is why people go to sadhus that my this work should get done that work should get done but bhagwan never said anything like this he said bhagwan said that i will drive your chariot but you yourself have to fight to wo nahi chahte hain ki hum is prakar se bhrasht ho so bhagwan does not want that we should become corrupt and lazy that is why we have to keep all the we have to maintain all the four wheels of dharma artha kama and moksha so artha and kama have not been rejected in the vedic system art artha is also important kama is also important but they should be accompanied with dharma so this is the teaching of mahabharat and the essence of mahabharat is bhagavad gita so mahabharat has been churned and gita is the essence that has come out so bhagwan has been referred to as gopal in gita mahatmya and he has churned all the shastras and take, uh, taken out gita so this verse says that those who are anxious for artha they will not worry for their suhrit well wishers nor the bandhus so yudhishthir is also in a brotherly relation with uh, <coughs> Uh, duryodhan they studied well they studied uh, together they played together but when it came to wealth and kingdom then duryodhan said that i will not give you even an inch so that's why neither suhrit nor bandhu so this we can see in our family so when we are uh, young then we uh, in childhood we live we live nicely with each other with love but when we grow up then there is so much fighting among each other so this is very surprising that those who were living so lovingly in childhood after growing up they become enemies of each other they don't want even talk to each other they are ready to even kill each other so why does it happen because of this artha turana na suhrit na bandhu that one who is anxious only for wealth he has uh, no suhrit no well wishers no bandhu so in order to explain this only vyasdev wrote such a big story so this is what we have to understand so if we understand this then only and and we apply this in our life it is happens in everybody's life it is not that it happened only in duryodhan and yudhishthir's life this is common in everybody's life next is he said those who are kamatur those who are always anxious for kama they are neither afraid of anybody they are neither ashamed of anything like we study uh, read in newspapers that uh, regular we get news of this uh, lady was raped that lady was raped although there are such strict laws against rape but uh, when uh, man's mind is totally afflicted by lust then he has no fear and no shame that why am i doing this so many uh, we see here news that uh, father is making relation with daughter brother is making relation with sister so there is no shame 
that karma is a, such a thing which can completely uh, corrupt or destroy a person's character that's why in gita bhagwan says that karma is our biggest enemy so karma is the biggest vairi the biggest enemy of ours we think that our enemy is sitting outside somebody in some place but no our biggest enemy is sitting in our own heart so as long as there is karma inside us there will be krodh or anger only and all others will come together then we will become then we will have no shame in uh, doing any kind of immoral activity so in order to teach this vyasadev taught mahabharat to humanity so that we can learn and apply this in our life and it is not like that those who are very lusty very kami they are very happy no they have to face all these troubles after breaking the law they will be caught and then they they have to face all the results of their immoral activities they have to face uh, so much embarrassment in society and they will be very miserable one who is always anxious one who is always having some tension whether it is of artha or of kama neither he will be having sukha neither he will be happy in gita bhagwan is telling that uh, everybody wants happiness but if your mind is not peaceful you cannot be happy if you actually want happiness then first of all you have to keep your mind peaceful if your mind is not peaceful you can uh, uh, you can accumulate no matter how many comforts how many means of happiness you will not feel happiness because the experience of happiness and misery doesn't happen in the body it happens in the mind like we experience a form with our eyes we experience smell with our nose we experience taste with our tongue similarly we experience happiness and distress with our mind but if our mind is not peaceful then we cannot be happy jaise hum like if we have a painting in front of us or some text if something is written like there is a screen the verse is written so if we keep shaking our head can we read it we cannot read it so similarly if our mind is continuously shaking then we cannot experience happiness that's why it is said chinta turanam na sukham na nidra that will not get sleep also because uh, sleep means we have to get rid of all the tension so nowadays we have become so much advanced that we have to take tablets for sleeping so is this advancement or it is degradation that we should deliberate on that the most basic need of our life wo bhi hum bagar drink uh, having food drinking water having good sleep we can't do that also without consuming some tablet then what sort of advancement we have made one who is hungry he will neither have strength nor he will have any tej so what i am trying to explain through this verse is that the foundation of gita is based on this तो इसको अगर हम समझेंगे इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस देन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड गीता बिकॉज भगवान हैज गिवन द सॉल्यूशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम्स ओनली इन भगवत गीता ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ आवर लाइफ आर इन दिस वर्स देयर इज नथिंग आउटसाइड दिस दिस वर्स ऑफ गरुड़ पुराण कंटेंस ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ आवर लाइफ कंप्रेस्ड एंड एक्यूमुलेटेड इन दिस वन वर्स so the solution of the problems which this verse is telling the solution lies in bhagavad gita because we were having this topic earlier also why should we study bhagavad gita generally people ask this to gita aapko vishad so gita takes us from vishad to prasad to vishad so what is vishad or dejection artha 
why do we become dejected like it was told in the previous verse the the previous verse says the cause of vishad or destruction the first first chapter of bhagavad gita is entitled vishad yog or the yoga of dejection so this is the etymology of the word vishad we shad and ghai so it means uh, to have dejection in mind uh, to become dejected not feeling enthusiasm feeling depressed that is called vishad so in our everybody's life in each of our lives there is uh, vishad happens depression comes we feel dejected if we are not a spiritualist if we are not walking on the spiritual path then in our life vishad is guaranteed nobody can stop vishad because vishad comes in mind and if mind is attached to artha and kama then definitely we will have vishad and uh, normally we don't analyze it so deeply like this if we analyze it carefully then mostly our mind is in vishad or dejection or depression only those who have everything they also have vishad whatever we are trying to obtain every person wants to attain something but they will get many people who already have what we are desiring for then logically that person should be happy because i am thinking that if i get this particular object or post or position or this much amount of wealth i will become happy but we will see many people in society who already have that which we are desiring for so then logically they should be happy but if we go and study their life then we will see they are also in the same miserable situation like us so happiness doesn't actually depend on these material objects happiness for happiness first of all we have to purify our mind and this is what gita teaches us so in sanskrit we have these two words vishad and prasad prasad generally people think that prasad means what we went to temple and we got some prasad whether some uh, sweet or anything but actually prasad means prasannata और हैप्पीनेस प्रसाद मींस प्योर माइंड विषाद का मतलब होता है जब आपका प्रसाद मींस व्हेन आवर माइंड इज इंप्योर इट बिकम्स प्योर दैट इज प्रसाद पूर्वक सद धातु से घ से प्रसाद बनता सो दिस इज द डिराइवेशन ऑफ वर्ड प्रसाद प्र सद एंड घ तो गीता जो है ये विषाद से तो गीता बिगिंस फ्रॉम विषाद एंड एंड्स एट एंड टेक्स अस टू प्रसाद प्रसन्नता प्रसन्न होना ये उसी धातु से आया है उसी प्रकार विषण भी शब्द है विषण माने तो विषाद इस विषण विषण मींस डिजेक्टेड प्रसाद इस प्रसन्न मींस टू बी हैप्पी लेकिन प्रसाद का मतलब निर्मल बट प्रसाद आल्सो मींस प्यूरिटी तो पहले अध्याय का नाम विषाद योग है तो द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज एंटाइटल्ड विषाद योग बिकॉज़ इट शोस अर्जुनस विषाद और डिजेक्शन अर्जुन हु इज सच ए बिग हीरो a uh, powerful strong uh, very intelligent the in most intimate friend of bhagwan he also had vishad so who are we we are lekin gita mein antim arjun but what is the last word of arjun in bhagavad gita arjun ka antim what is the last statement of arjun arjun says tvat prasadat maya chit अर्जुन यूजेस द वर्ड प्रसाद इन द इन हिज लास्ट स्टेटमेंट इन भगवत गीता प्रसाद आल्सो मींस कृपा और योर मर्सी तो ही सेड दैट माय मोह हैज बीन डिस्ट्रॉयड आई हैव माय स्मृति हैज कम बैक बाय योर प्रसाद सो दैट मींस गीता बिगिंस विद विषाद एंड टेक्स अस टू प्रसाद आपकी इच्छा है आपके ऊपर आप सो नाउ इट इज अप टू यस वेदर वेदर वी वांट टू लिव इन विषाद और वी वांट प्रसाद इफ वी वांट प्रसाद वी हैव वी विल गेट इट ओनली फ्रॉम गीता पैसा कमा ले जितना नो मैटर हाउ मच वी अर्न एंड हाउ मच वी सेटिस्फाई आवर लस्टी डिजायर्स वी विल नॉट गेट प्रसाद बिकॉज़ अर्जुन इज टेलिंग आई हैव गॉट दिस प्रसाद फ्रॉम यू 
तो प्रसाद कैन बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम भगवान ओनली जिसके पास में जो कुछ वन हु हैज समथिंग ओनली ही कैन गिव दैट इन मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड पीपल हैव विषाद सो दे विल गिव अस विषाद ओनली बहुत लोग many people want that yeah, i should get married to him or her it happens and after then then what happens there is vishad or no we keep fighting one who those people for whom we were dying to get their association in our life and we were telling that we can't live without you and then after some time i this we say i cannot live with you nahi main aapke sath nahi rehta the same person for whom we were telling i cannot live without you now we hate him or her so much why this is how material world works it's a it's a law it cannot be broken this is how material world works the same place from which we get happiness from that same place or person only we will get misery we cannot stop If provided we are not devotee of Bhagwan, if we do not have the prasad of Bhagwan, then vishad is guaranteed. Nobody can stop. That is why Gita is an extremely essential uh, shastra. In India, it is very easily available to us. So we should spend some time in Gita. At least uh, spend one hour every Sunday. to uh, learn bhagavad gita to aapke jeevan mein so it will be useful in our life in all fields of our life ye keval aapka kaam jo keval it's not that gita is useful only in the spiritual aspect of our life we will learn how to manage how to have good relations in family how how uh, to have good relations with out people outside so everything is in gita but we have to study properly people study gita they just recite the verses that is also good but we have to learn imbibe that knowledge and we have to digest it in our life we have to actually apply that knowledge in our life it was spoken for that purpose so now pehle we uh, move ahead to the first chapter of bhagavad gita the first chapter of gita is called arjuna vishad yoga to ye bahut hi ek prakar se aashchary so this is a very strange word vishad as well as yoga because yoga person thinks that uh, yoga means mind is peaceful that is yoga that we are meditating so vishad how can it become yoga how can dejection be yoga what is the relation of vishad with yoga because in gita the 18 chapters every uh, chapter is entitled in its title their word the word is yoga so first of all we have to understand what is vishad we understood what is vishad or dejection that means uh, dejected mind not feeling enthusiastic depressed feeling sad miserable not feeling like doing anything don't want to talk to anybody so when people are generally they are in vishad and if it is a very deep state of dejection then people go and they get into some addiction it's very common they either get into drinking wine or taking drugs to wo vishad so that is not vishad yoga wo aapko vishad ka koi that is not some solution to vishad it is simply trying to forget the vishad to vishad ko bhul jao so addiction can make us forget vishad only for a temporary only temporary time so because that addiction its influence will fade away and then we will again get into vishad in fact now our vishad will be even more it will be deeper than the previous state of dejection so what is addiction in sanskrit nasha is na samyaya na means not and sham means shanti so addiction is that by which we don't get peace to log nasha karte hain ki isse mere ko so people do addiction or nasha for getting peace or shanti but uh, the word nasha itself means it will not give us peace it simply takes us into tamogun or the mode of darkness jaise mere 
को भूख लगी है so this addiction takes us into mode of ignorance now suppose we are feeling hungry it means uh, now i should uh, uh, eat food so when i am feeling hungry if i simply go out and play and all and i want to forget my feeling of hunger will i will my hunger go down no i am simply trying to forget it so when we come back we will again feel hungry so similarly addiction is not a solution to dejection so how to solve this dejection through yoga that is what bhagavad gita teaches us so the word yoga has many meanings one meaning of the word yoga is a uh, medium or a way of solution the method of solving something so uh, is a method like if we have to go from let's say vrindavan to delhi we go by car so car is a medium so one of the meaning of the word yoga is this medium or a method or a way of solving something so similarly vishad can be made a medium or a way of solving our life's and ultimate problems so when we get a situation in our life it may be of two types it may be favorable or unfavorable so we can progress in both the situations favorable as well as unfavorable even in unfavorable situation also we can fall down and we can fall down in favorable situation also both are possible so it depends on our intelligence our wisdom how we utilize a situation so one of the meaning of yoga is upayog or upay or method or medium or way of solving something so when we have vishad or dejection so then vishad yog means how we utilize that vishad to progress in our life yog ka ek arth milna you one of the meaning of your word yoga is to meet like in mathematics we may say that 2 plus 2 is 4 so there plus is yog connecting or bringing together so how to uh, make vishad a yog or a medium such that we can meet bhagwan this is what gita explains to isliye isko vishad that is why it is called vishad yoga and why do we get vishad what is the primary reason, cause primary reason that we have to understand the primary reason for vishad or dejection is our attachment asakti some people in so it means that we have some attachment to some uh, object or some person or some post position or to some situation we are attached to that so that becomes a cause of our vishad why because in material world everything is temporary whether some person or some post or some situation or some object sab yahan par everything is temporary in this world so if we become attached to that now that when the situation will change or the person will change or the object will change either we have to leave that or that object or person that will leave us so there will be viyog between both separation so the anything that we have in our life it cannot be maintained in the same condition now we may our life may be going on very nicely that will also change with time because it is a journey to hum chal rahe hain hamari yatra chal rahi hai chahe hum ek jagah par hi baith rahe hain so we are moving ahead although we are sitting in one place still we should not think that we are not moving we are moving and whatever we have currently and we are having viyog with that so there is continuous viyog or separation with our existing situation so it is guaranteed that each and everything that i have i will have separation from that and when there will be separation i will become miserable if i am attached to that object or person or that situation then i will get into dejection if i am attached to that but if if i am not attached to that then i will not get into dejection to isliye vishad ka mool so that is why the foundational the ultimate cause of vishad is attachment and this attachment makes us weak 
इफ वी वॉन्ट टू कीप अटैचमेंट आशक्ति जो है सो अटैचमेंट टू शुड बी टू सच ए पर्सन सिचुएशन विच इज परमानेंट और एंड परमानेंट इज ओनली भगवान सो इफ वी हैव अटैचमेंट टू भगवान देन वी विल नेवर गेट इन टू विषाद बिकॉज भगवान इज ऑलवेज भगवान ही वॉज एंड ही इज एंड ही विल बी भगवान दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज ही वॉज नॉट मेड भगवान बाई सम वोटिंग नॉट दैट आफ्टर फाइव ईयर्स भगवान विल चेंज there is nothing like that so politicians are always worried that now 5 years are getting over now how should i come back to agar wo aise rajnetaon mein aap so if we remain attached to such politicians they may get down after 5 uh, years then we will be in again trouble to isliye yahan aap jo bhi aap sambandh hai aapke aap samajh lijiye so here whatever relations we have we should understand that those relations are temporary Uh, before we were born those relations were not there they have been made after our birth and one day they will relation will get destroyed either we will leave them or they will leave us or both will leave each other so in uh, nyaya shastra uh, if you have these two hands they are joined this is called sanyoga teen prakar se hota hai ek to ye hath so sanyoga happens with in two ways the right hand can come together to the left hand the left hand come towards right hand or both come towards each other so like that separation is also of three types right hand may leave the left hand left may leave right or both may leave each other so that will happen here that is why we have vishad or dejection so the primary cause of dejection is attachment और उसके कारण जो है फिर हम तो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी बिकम बिल्डर्ड आवर इंटेलिजेंस डज नॉट वर्क प्रॉपरली इट बिकम्स क्लाउडेड क्लाउडेड बाय डार्कनेस एंड वी फॉल इनटू तमोगुण द मोड ऑफ इग्नोरेंस और जब हम ठीक से निर्णय नहीं एंड वी आर नॉट एबल टू टेक प्रॉपर डिसीजंस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी टेक रॉन्ग डिसीजन एंड वी एक्ट रॉन्गली एंड वी गेट द रॉन्ग रिजल्ट एंड वी हैव टू सफर फॉर दैट सो दिस इज द कॉज ऑफ vishad now what is the importance of vishad so ye already i explained that that wish when we get vishad we should not hate the vishad or dejection it is simply an opportunity for us to upgrade ourselves to move ahead to progress in life normally we think that in our life if everything if every situation is favorable then it will be great but it is not like that the unfavorable situations they are, they actually give us the lessons whatever good knowledge we have in our life most of that we have learned from unfavorable situations only from favorable situation mostly human being doesn't learn anything aapko ek so this uh, state of vishad or dejection gives us an opportunity to learn something if arjun would not have been in vishad or dejection arjun would not have learned could not have learned bhagavad gita the cause of bhagavad gita is actually arjun's dejection only if arjun would have said would not have said that i will not fight then there would have been no bhagavad gita nobody would have got this knowledge so this knowledge came out of uh, the dejection only so when we have unfavorable situation then and if we become alert and our intelligence awakens and it starts working when we are in some dangerous situation we start thinking how to save ourselves and when everything is favorable our intelligence gets rusted because we don't have any need to use our intelligence that's why vishad is extremely useful in our life lekin but we have, we should understand how to utilize the situation of dejection how to make it a yoga that we have to learn that art and gita teaches us that art and because everyone gets this vishad there is no person in this world who we can say that i never ha- had vishad or i don't have vishad that is only possible that one is when one is a spiritualist that's why we should learn this to 
सो नाउ वी मूव अहेड टू द फर्स्ट वर्ड फर्स्ट वर्स ऑफ भगवत गीता भगवत गीता का पहला अध्याय का तो फर्स्ट वर्स ऑफ फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता धृत राष्ट्र उवाच धर्म क्षेत्र कुरुक्षेत्र समवेता ये उत्सव माम कहा पांडव किम कुरुवत संजय so the beginning of bhagavad gita it happens with the question of dhritarashtra and this uh, he has asked this question to his secretary sanjay unka prashna hai his question is that that in this uh, so here you can see the word meanings dhritarashtra vachar king dhritarashtra said that o sanjay that assembled having assembled in the place of dharma which is named kurukshetra after king kuru with the desire to fight what did my uh, sons and the sons of king pandu did after that they do after that so ye hai iska so these are the word meanings or ye iska anuvad hai this is the translation that uh, king dhritarashtra said o sanjay having assembled in the holy land of kurukshetra eager to fight what did my sons and the sons of pandu do to ye bada sar garbhit prashna so this is a very deep uh, question and uh, there is a lot of uh, tatva in inside this uh, one question so first of all we should understand the background of this question why this question was asked to ye vastav mein ye prashna jo hai so actually this question yani ke kurukshetra mein jo in uh, this was not asked in the on the first day of the war at kurukshetra it this question was asked on the 10th day ye jo dhritarashtra धृतराष्ट्र जो है वो गीता का पहला विद्यार्थी तो गीता हुड भगवत गीता फर्स्ट आफ्टर अर्जुन दैट इज धृतराष्ट्र और एंड द स्पीकर इज संजय तो इस युद्ध से युद्ध का आरंभ होने सो दिस बैटल बिफोर दिस बैटल बिगेन Uh, vyasa dev he had uh, come to hastinapur he lives in uh, badrinath in himalaya he came from there he met uh, dhritarashtra he tried to explain to dhritarashtra that you are capable of stopping this war because you are king and uh, uh, you guys you should be ready to give uh, five pieces of land to the five pandavas but uh, uh, king dhritarashtra did not agree so then vyasa dev said that your entire dynasty will get destroyed to unhone unko to vyasadev told dhritarashtra that if you want to see this war and i can give you the divine vision sitting here only you can witness the entire war to dhritarashtra to dhritarashtra rejected that offer he told that no i was blind my entire life now what is the use of uh, taking eyes and uh, witnessing the destruction of my dynasty so this is very surprising that some person is blind and he should be very happy to get eyes to get vision but what happens is that in our life we are addicted we get addicted to every situation hum agar koi galat khana if we eat the wrong type of food we get addicted to that and we start liking that only like there is a uh, story machli bechne wale that uh, there was a lady who was selling uh, fishes and uh, she went to sell fishes she was carrying the basket of fishes on her head one day she went to another village and uh, from there at some distance uh, her sister was there so she said that she thought that okay let me go and meet my sister but sister was uh, not dealing in fishes so they were very happy they started uh, discussing with each other they started discussing about their childhood so at night when it was time of for sleeping so she made a nice bed to sleep 
so the lady was not able to sleep only sister was asking what has happened why are you just moving here and there why are you not able to sleep she was telling she was telling that here i am not getting proper smell because she was uh, so addicted to the smell of fish so whenever wherever you will find lot of fishes you will feel lot of smell uh, bats or uh, foul smell you will not be able to stay there but this lady was so much addicted she was not getting the smell of fishes and she was feeling disturbed so the sister told that that what this basket of uh, fishes that you have brought spray some water in that and the smell will come out and then you will get sleep so i said i have studied that before so like this i had uh, studied earlier that when this uh, train had uh, arrived in india when the the driver he was uh, driving the train so there was continuous sound in that and this building was near the uh, railway station so always he was getting sound so if he would not hear that sound he was not able to sleep only so like this we become addicted to some situation we get used to such situation so king dhritarashtra said that no i don't want this vision you give it to sanjay so then sanjay got that vision to sanjay jo hai wo vastav mein yuddh ke ek kshetra to sanjay was actually in the battlefield 10 din tak wo till 10 days sanjay was also fighting because all the young people they had to Uh, they uh, got into the battlefield and the, on the 10th day when bhishma fell down so it was such a it was a very big event on the battlefield but nobody had even imagined that bhishma he can also uh, fall down and he will get attacked so severely that he will fall down from his chariot because uh, uh, shikhandi came in front of bhishma and then bhim and uh, bhishma said that i will not fight because he considered shikhandi a woman and he did not want to attack any woman with weapons and he had told this earlier only to king yudhishthir because uh, king yudhishthir he had uh, uh, gone to bhishma and he wanted blessing he told that you have blessed us that uh, we, uh, we should get victory but as long as you are on the chariot how can we win this battle so as long as because as long as bhishma was on the chariot there is no person in the three worlds who can defeat even lord parshuram who defeated kshatriyas 21 times even he could not defeat bhishma so then bhishma had said that if shikhandi comes in front of us then i will stop fighting and then you tell arjun that he should uh, attack me with the arrows because these arrows of shikhandi they can't do anything to me so actually it is said that bhishma fell down by the arrows of shikhandi but no actually he fell down by arrows of arjun so this was a very big event the bhishma falling down so sanjay he went to hastinapur from kurukshetra just to convey this news of bhishma getting attacked so when dhritarashtra heard this news then he asked this question he tell that tell me from beginning actually the question is meaningless because the battle was anyway going on so what is the point of asking so what is the actual intention behind asking this he actually wanted to know in detail because if we hear some big news then we tell some person that tell me from beginning in detail what happened although we may know we may have some idea of what happened but still we want to know it in detail or varnan so we want to uh, we want to get a very detailed description of the event so for that reason king dhritarashtra asked sanjay that uh, o oh, sanjay having assembled in the holy land of kurukshetra eager to fight what did my sons and the sons of pandu do to puri geeta jo hai keval so the entire bhagavad geeta is actually the answer to this one question because uh, uh, dhritarashtra did not say anything after this only sanjay kept on describing in the entire bhagavad geeta we don't find any interjection by dhritarashtra uh, arjun and krishna's dialogue is there inside 
बट दैट डायलॉग इज एक्चुअली इन साइड द डायल इन साइड द डिस्कशन ऑफ धृतराष्ट्र एंड संजय एंड इन दैट ऑल्सो in the out of 700 verses this is the only verse by dhritarashtra remaining all are actually spoken by sanjay to yahan se geeta ka so this is from where geeta begins and in the next session we will discuss this verse in detail there is lot of tatva in this particular verse and we'll try to understand it properly uh, we will stop here today if you anybody has any question kindly ask regarding uh, relationships in this material world mm. uh, th- how we can love without g- becoming attached so love without attachment is, is not possible prashn hai ke is sansar mein hamare jo sambandh hai so the question is the relations that we have in this world how can we have loving relation without attachment actually love and attachment Uh, they are synonymous only uh, without attachment how love is possible so this is actually not possible if you actually love somebody then there will be attachment that is what is taught in this world if you have this type of attachment then you will have vishad you cannot escape that uh, dejection this one question gita jayanti happens on ekadashi but this question was asked on the 10th day so could you explain how how it came to gita to ekadashi ko bole gayi na to gita was spoken on ekadashi how is this asked on 10th day so bhagwan krishna told geeta to arjuna on ekadashi and the jayanti to ekadashi late later uh, sanjay spoke the the war began on ekadashi kartik ashwin ashwin theek hai पुरुषोत्तम प्रभु बोलिए सीड्स और माघ आओ तो चले हम्म नेक्स्ट मंथ आफ्टर कार्तिक इट वाज द एकादशी या नेक्स्ट मंथ मीनिंग ऑफ भगवद गीता भगवद गीता मीन्स द गीत और द सॉन्ग ऑफ भगवान व्हेन भगवान स्पीक्स इट इज गीत ओनली चलते हैं तो नाचते हैं कथा गानम चलनम नाचते हैं भगवान का चलना जो है वो नृत्य के समान है भगवान वॉकिंग इज लाइक उनका बोलना डांस हिज स्पीकिंग इज लाइक सिंगिंग मनु ओके मनु हरिबोल महाराज डू यू हियर मी डू यू हियर मी यस ओके 
Uh, attachment leads to dejection. How to deal with attachment in bhakti yoga in service? Let's say you, you are doing a service and you get thrown out of that service, but you are attached to that. Then you get very sad. Should um, should you also not be attached to service? How to deal with this? How to deal with this? So you have to deal with that also. Now you have to see that this is also Krishna's arrangement. Maybe he's giving you better service. If you are eager to do service, you will always find service. So prasni ye hai ke bhakti mein aap seva karte hain, aapki seva mein aa sakti hai, but lekin us seva se aapko niskasit kar diya jata hai. So question is, if you have attachment and you are out of your seva, so devotees, their shraddha is in Bhagavan. So, if being removed from some service, there must be some plan of Bhagavan. Uh, he must be trying to give mercy in some other way. So, you should think that there is some benefit for me in that also. No need to get dejected. Alka? Hare Krishna. Babaji Maharaj, Pranam. So, question, first time I uh, learned today that Bhagavad Gita was actually spoken on the 10th day, that in the so this is actually a description that is being done by Sanjay. He is describing what happened in the past like if you see any news in the television so somebody gave some speech somewhere somebody where some accident happened they show that this happened this building fell down or something it doesn't mean that when the news is being relayed it is happening that time it already happened they just made a video recording and they are showing that so similarly sanjay is describing what already happened Question for understanding Bhagavan is Vishad Yoga compulsory because uh, when we have dejection, then we can connect better and we can we are more serious in understanding. So, vishad or dejection is not compulsory, That, but here it is being said that if there is vishad, how you can convert, make it a yoga. It doesn't mean that vishad, without vishad or without dejection, you cannot go to Bhagavan. If, if you can convert vishad to yoga, then prasad, you can make it yoga much easily. So, question when uh, even a great personality like Arjun, he got connected to Bhagavan when he got Vishad. So, answer it doesn't mean that you cannot understand Bhagavan without Vishad. Gita was told because Arjun was in Vishad and it was told for that. It doesn't mean that Gita cannot be studied without Vishad. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Uh, I have two questions for Maharaj. And one thing is, uh, I've heard that uh, the Vishada is necessary for us to know about ourselves in a deeper way. Uh, based on this question, uh, but we, uh, my concern is that, so when we are depressed, when we want to know ourselves in a better way, at the time we also need a right person. So when situations are there in such a way that we don't have that person, most probably we may tend to lose that circumstances, lose that mind or lose that emotion or lose that kind of uh, mental uh, composure. So when we lose that sort of uh, receptance attitude in us, so what we can do uh, to better ourselves? So this is my first question, Maharaj. So the first thing is that this is not so, Krishna, 
So the question is that, uh, is it necessary to have Vishad Yog to understand ourselves? And then we also need a qualified person who can explain to us if we don't get such person, then our inquisitiveness will get destroyed. So first of all, I want to clarify that I told earlier also that Vishad Yog is, Vishad is not compulsory. There is no such condition that you get knowledge only in Vishad. It's not like that. It is being shown here that even in such situation, also we can get knowledge of Bhagavan. So, Kamutya Nyay is applied here that if I am a student, is in a fifth standard and he goes and teaches somebody, uh, is it that uh, if a fifth standard person de can defeat him, then what can a PhD student do? He can totally destroy. That is Kaimutya Nyay. So if you can get knowledge even in uh, Vishad or dejection, then in, in Vishad Yoga, then in, pras in, this, in good situation when you have Prasad, what all you can obtain? That is what it means. What we are trying to tell is that you don't, you should not wait for the, the situation of dejection. Whatever situation we are in, we should try to understand Gita. Second point, if we do not find qualified person and our enthusiasm gets destroyed, so then we should try to hear nowadays lot of knowledge is available. With satsang, we get inquisitiveness. So wherever we are, try we should try to get satsang and we should try to learn something from the satsang. So then our inquisitiveness will be maintained. It will, in fact, increase. Thank you, Maharaj. Uh, one, minute, one last question. Uh, in the shloka, Dharma Kshetri Kuru Kshetri Samaveta Yod Samadhe, he tells that, Kima Kurvata Sanjaya, what have they done? So, but still nothing has happened there. So, what what does the shloka mean? I'm not, understand, I'm not getting that word. So, this shloka, just unka prasna hai ke... So, the question is that, what, what does this verse mean actually? So, I already said that in the next session, I will uh, explain every word in detail, what the word means. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is my last question and I'll stop it up. So right now I'm in a dire need of association. I was trying since a long time uh, because uh, I'm, I have a lot of materialistic friends. I have a lot of American friends, but somewhere I'm not feeling uh, uh, satisfied. Uh, it feels like a shallow despite of uh, hearing, I mean, despite of being with them uh, because of my uh, isolation uh, from the devotees. So I'm feeling a uh, dire need of association, but uh, with phone calls, I've been in touch with many devotees, but still something is not satisfied in me. So I don't know how to get out of this feeling. So I need some devotees to, at least, um, I want to learn from them, but nobody's there with me because of my work schedule and other things. So I'm not able to come out of this feeling. So is there any suggestions for me in how to get into that? I mean, this kind of feeling is making me mad because nothing is satisfied in life. Like that sort of feeling is coming. Everything is there. But some sort of satisfaction is not there just because of one reason that I'm not in the midst of a devotees. So, my question is English, Facebook, and Spotify. So, the answer is that I have a lot of lectures on Bhagavatam on various platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Spotify. Every day I give class evening 8.30 on Srimad Bhagavatam, Monday to Friday. You can hear that. You can take the link from the devotees here. Uh, Maharaj, I'm listening, uh, the, uh, I'm listening to your uh, Bhagavatam lecture, Maharaj. I mean, just that uh, nobody is there with me as a devotee, physical. 
so, so that I can learn from them, so that I can be with them. So when I have some important questions, I could directly ask them. So that sort of association I'm missing. That's it, Maharaj. Every, I'm, I'm hearing your lectures in YouTube and even Spotify. I'm happy with that. But just that, um, I have that lack. Uh, I'm not with any devotees. That is not my problem. <laughs> तो अभी तो घर को मालूम नहीं है आप कहाँ पर स्थित हैं अगर आप हैं तो आप कभी कभी वृंदावन आ सकते हैं ओ द आंसर इज समटाइम्स यू कैन कम टू वृंदावन एंड आई डोंट नो वेयर यू आर सिचुएटेड ओके ओके मालूम थैंक यू मालूम जी हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी प्रभु जी मेरा सवाल एक्चुअली दो पार्ट है पहले तो आपने बताया कि विषाद दुख है डिसअपॉइंटमेंट है डिजेक्शन है वो तो या तो आपके खुद के कर्मों से आएगा या फिर प्रभु जी दूसरों के कर्मों से भी हम दुखी होते हैं जैसे हमारी फैमिली फ्रेंड्स तो द क्वेश्चन इज वी गेट लॉट ऑफ मिजरी फ्रॉम फैमिली फ्रेंड्स एटसेट्रा ऑल्सो इट सीम्स एज इफ वी आर सराउंडेड ऑल द टाइम बाई डिजेक्शन but sometimes we get happiness also it's like a mixture that we keep getting so within this uh, environment and i have now job also even in the in my work life uh, always there are ups and downs so amidst all this how can i keep myself composed so i started practicing that uh, reduce expectations from people from situations so i'm trying to train myself to reduce expectations so people also they tell that if you want to excel in life you have to become competitive you need wealth also there is family you have to look after them also look after children their education marriage for that we need wealth so amidst this uh, rat race in this type of life uh, how to uh, how to learn bhagavad gita and apply it in our life how can we do that effectively we cannot leave our job we cannot leave our family will, there will be expectations there will be attachment how can we balance all that so now only started hearing you my first step was to hear you uh, that has started so the answer whatever work you do you can do it in anxiety or without that chinta turanam na sukham na nidra to aap job karte hain so you are doing your job so do your job but why do you have to keep anxiety it's not necessary that anxiety and job should always be together there is no rule like that like uh, you are uh, going in vehicle to delhi you may have worried that uh, my i will meet an accident this may happen that may happen many people keep thinking this only and one is that you are uh, driving what will happen anyway happen but from my side i drive properly carefully so what happens is that mostly bahut chintaen vyarth ki lot of our anxieties are useless which are of no value so in bhagavad gita bhagwan will tell about this that what is not in your control uski chinta karna vyarth being anxious about that is a waste of time so now you have to think that on whatever topic on which i am uh, worried you can make a list of topics on which you are worried and check uh, do you have any control on those topics about which you are worried लाइक सपोज आई बिकम वरीड दैट आई मे गेट ओके सपोज आई आई हैव बीन टोल्ड दैट आई हैव कैंसर एंड आई विल डाई इन दिस मच टाइम नाउ आई मे कीप वरिंग वे एंड बी एंशियस दैट आई विल डाई इन दिस मेनी मंथ दिस मेनी डेज एंड अनदर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू मे बी दैट एनी वे आई हैव टू डाई सो वाई शुड आई बी वरीड अबाउट दैट कोई इलाज नहीं है देर इज नो सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट दैट एनी थिंग हैपन्ड that we death is certain now what is the use of uh, whole day and night being worried what will happen to my uh, uh, family members my building my property but you can't do anything about that so isliye geeta mein bhagwan kehte hain usko aap yaad rakhiye so in geeta bhagwan says in there are lot of statements of wisdom of bhagwan in geeta main kehta hu ki ye 
करोड़ रुपए का एक वाक्य है तो दिस मिलियन डॉलर स्टेटमेंट अगर आप इसको याद रखें तो आपकी चिंता इफ वी रिमेम्बर दिस देन यू विल बिकम फ्री ऑफ वरी तो भगवान इज टेलिंग समाधान फॉर एनी थिंग दैट इज अपरिहार्य वेन यू डोंट हैव सोल्यूशन लाइक आई गेव यू एग्जाम्पल सपोज इट हैज बीन टोल्ड दैट आई कैंसर दैट देर इज नो सोल्यूशन यू हैव टू डाई मीन्स डाई तो वॉट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ वरिंग अबाउट इट बाई वरिंग माई डिजीज विल इट गेट सॉल्व और दैट प्रॉब्लम विल गेट सॉल्व इसको अच्छा कर पाऊंगा चिंता करने से क्या मेरे को लाभ होगा वॉट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ बींग ऑलवेज वरीड तो प्राय करके हम व्यर्थ की चिंता करते रहते सो मोस्टली वी आर वरीड अबाउट थिंग्स ऑल वेस्ट सो इट हैज बिकम आवर हैबिट टू ऑलवेज रिमेन वरीड हटाइए so we should apply our intelligence buddhya yukta ya partha karm bandham prahasyati karm bandhan yahi chinta ye bhi kam ka bandhan hi hai hamare so this uh, uh, karma bandhan this bondage this is our uh, this all uh, anxiety only so in that we should apply our intelligence bhagwan has given us intelligence buddhi par bahut bal diya bhagwan has given lot of emphasis on intelligence in bhagavad gita we have to use our intelligence that why am i being worried about this जो हमें एक फैकल्टी दी गई है वी हैव बीन गिवन अ फैकल्टी ऑफ विजडम इंटेलिजेंस इन आवर लाइफ वी डोंट यूज दैट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी ऑलवेज रिमेन वरीड तो ये जो सारथी हैं भगवान सो दिस लाइक भगवान हियर हु इज अ चैरियट हियर एन एनालॉजी व्हिच इज मेड दैट सारथी का मतलब इंटेलिजेंस इज द चैरियट हियर मन का मतलब प्रग्रह है इन आवर लाइफ एंड द माइंड आर द रेंस ऑफ द हॉर्सेस तो भगवान इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग हियर इंटेलिजेंस ने गीता में कहा इंटेलिजेंस दैट्स व्हाई ही सेज दैट आई एम द इंटेलिजेंस ऑफ इंटेलिजेंट इंटेलिजेंट एवरीबॉडी इज इंटेलिजेंट इंटेलिजेंट डज नॉट मीन लाइक समबडी इज वेरी इंटेलिजेंट दैट भगवान इज नॉट टॉकिंग दैट इंटेलिजेंस दस रुपया लाइक हु इज वेल्थी इफ आई हैव टेन रुपीज दैट टेन रुपीज इज ऑल्सो वेल्थ ओनली तो डू आई नॉट हैव वेल्थ सो इवन इफ आई हैव टेन रुपीज आई एम ऑल्सो वेल्थी ओनली so one who has less intelligence he is also intelligent only so everybody is that so in geeta bhagwan is telling that i am the intelligence but we don't respect that so when bhagwan is telling that i am intelligence we don't respect bhagwan that we are not respecting that intelligence so you i recommend you to make a list of your anxieties and check that which all anxieties are actually useful uh what on what you have control you can remove that and those anxieties anxieties about which you can't do anything let's say your boss is of very angry nature well, what can you do about that you can keep getting worried so thodi that's what we have to check here buddhi ka prayog karke apni awareness badhani hai so we have to we should use our intelligence and improve our awareness anditji अंकित अंकित नमस्कार सर मेरा सवाल ये कि आप आप आवाज ठीक से नहीं आ रही है आपकी हेलो अभी आ रही है ऊंचे नीचे हो रही है बोलिए दीपक पूछते हैं सो प्रैक्टिकली इफ वी आर फेसिंग रिजेक्शन वी शुड एनालाइज व्हाट इज दैट वी आर अटैच्ड टू आफ्टर डूइंग दिस व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज नॉट टू बी अटैच्ड I told earlier only that your attachment, what you are attached to, will anyway not remain. The object that will anyway be separated from us. Why, if you keep holding on to that, that is going to become the cause of your dejection. What is anyway going to get separated from you? You cannot stop it from getting separated. You don't have any power of always maintaining it with you. 
so and you are investing your attachment in that so you are yourself sowing the seed of your dejection this is what is being explained in gita so why to keep maintain that attachment so we have to first understand it properly it is not so easily uh, we don't get so easily it in our intelligence we we are always surrounded with worries and we always have that habit of always being in anxiety we think that because of anxiety only we get motivation so little bit of some anxiety is understood that should be there otherwise we will not do anything but if we always remain immersed in anxiety then we can't do anything so that is why we have to check we have to try to analyze what are we getting out of this attachment but it is not so easy to get rid of that attachment it's very difficult why so difficult because we have always been used to that we have become accustomed we have become we have become addicted to always remain in anxiety so this anxiety uh, the attachment which is the main cause of our anxiety we have become addicted to remaining attached many people they smoke cigarette so actually what is a bigger foolishness than this you are taking some smoke inside your lungs isn't it and you are spending money also for that if you check properly what can what is a bigger foolishness than that that in your own body the machine or the organs by which we, my body is functioning on which my body is depending and on this body so many family members are depending i am putting smoke inside that body and knowing that this smoke is very dangerous the, the smoke doesn't give any benefit to the lungs and for that i am spending money also but we get used to addicted to that also we can't live without that one who has this uh, habit if you don't give him that cigarette he will die so the like this we get wrong habits so this is just for one uh, example one who is uh, used to drinking no matter his liver may get destroyed but he will drink like this uh, people are addicted to smoking same so like this this uh, chinta this uh, worry we remain addicted to that we remain attached to that if i don't have some anxiety we feel that our life is empty yeah i am telling the truth there are people like this that they don't have anything for which they are anxious or they have tension in their life so they keep creating tension this is how our mind works if i remove all your worries now then immediately you will create 10 new worries we have become addicted to this we have become so habituated that we can't live without anxieties and worries but the day you will start living without this then you will start realizing that this is real life mohini puchti hai um kya man ka uddeshya shanti hai man ka uddeshya man ka koi uddeshya nahi hota what do you mean what do you mean objective of mind there is no objective of mind if the mind would have any objective like this it would have remained always it would have remained peaceful man koi vyakti thodi mind manas or mind is not some person who has some objective vidya chauhan ji बोलिए गायब हो गया चलिए ठीक है तो श्लोक हमारे कहा गए थोड़ा 
मंगलाचरण के श्लोक बोलते हैं सर्वोपनिषदो गो दोग्धा गोपाल नंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधीर भोक्ता दुग्ध गीता मृत एक शास्त्र देवकी पुत्र गीत एको देव देवकी पुत्र एको मंत्रस्त कर्माप्येक सेवा कारपण्यदोषोपहत स्वभाव पृछा तां धर्म सूढ़चेतःश्रेयस्याश्चित ब्रूहि तन्मे शिष्यस्ते हम शाधि प्रपन्न योगेश्वर कृष्ण यो धनुर्धर त्र श्रीर्विजय भूति ध्रुवा नीतिर्मतिर्म कृष्णा वासुदेवाय नंदनाय नंद गोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम नम पंकजनाभाय नम पंकज मलिने नम पंकज नेत्राय नमस्ते पंकजांग्रे भवे भवे यथा भक्ति पादयोस्तव जायते तथा कुरुष्व देवेश नाथस्व नो यत प्रभो नाम संकीर्तन यप प्रणाशन प्रणाम दुख समनस्त नमा हरि पर ओम शांति 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 हरिओं तत्सत्